What is up, everybody? It is your boy Sensei Santi, and I am back with another video. I know it's been a long, long time, but I want to go ahead and thank you guys for sticking around for the people that have been around for the last two years that I haven't posted. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Without you guys, I don't even think I'd be coming back. So, as you can tell, the game I am playing it is not Thayne Arena, it is actually a game called Pixels, an infinite world of endless adventures. And it's kind of similar to World Wide Web. As you can tell, there's a bunch of little NFTs and NFT communities. The game is going to have two in-game currencies, Barry and Pixel. So really, I'm just going to take the time really quick and walk you guys through a little bit about how the game works. It is a free-to-play. Yes, I repeat, a free-to-play blockchain farming MMO. In this game, you're going to be able to uh, own your own land visit other people's land and go ahead and farm whatever it is you'd like, produce whatever it is you like. It is It does have its in-game economy, so you're going to be able to trade PvP. Right now, I'm just offering this guy these shoes. I doubt he's going to take them. So see, he didn't take them, but it's all good. I'm going to offer this person something else. I'm just kind of trying to show you guys. I offer them some wine, which took me some time to make, and it shows you the trade value there. So he's going to just deny it because we didn't speak about it at all before that but it is pretty sweet that everything that you do earn everything that you do waste time on and spend energy on that you can trade it player for player this right here is the in-game market so it's called bucks galore you go in here you buy anything that is essential to the game that's seeds you know anything like that and as you do quests when you first start the game you kind of be walked through a lot of this yeah, so don't even worry about that too much, but there are several industries um, that you are going to be able to work towards and, and level up. So for me, I am focused on farming and wine making, but as you can tell, my cooking and um, woodworking and all that is kind of low. The aviculture and the beekeeping kind of has to do with the wine making, so that's kind of why it's up there. But then you come up here and you just see this big group of people. These are all real players. Some of them have different NFT collections, which is pretty cool um, that all the NFT communities can come together here. But what it is, it's a marketplace. So you'll be able to click and see what players have what at what cost. And, you know, pretty much the players are going to decide ultimately what everything's going to uh, cost. So I'm really looking forward to this. But then again, I'm just showing you guys again, you know, the whole in-game thought and how the whole game works. But yeah, so you can create a little listing here in the sell button. I'm not going to go do that. You have to be a VIP to do that. But I'm going to visit my friend Bunny's land. This is land number 920. If you guys are going to join the game, which I'll leave a link in the description, play.pixels.xyz. This is um my friend's Bunny's land. So I'm just going to go back and forth, show you guys a little bit. He is hosting a party. And this is what I love about this game. Every week. You know, different communities, different people are all hosting events where a lot of them will be doing giveaways. Um, the game makes it so throughout the whole energy, the time that the event lasts, which is about an hour. You get a whole thousand energy so you can harvest. It gives you the opportunity to make a little bit more berry on that specific day. And yeah, just complete different quests and whatnot. I always take advantage of these energy parties. And it's just a great time, man. You guys need to need to come. I'll actually post a video of one um, soon. But another one of my favorite things about this game is this decor shop. Um, so user generated content is huge in this game. A lot of the things that you see were actually made by the player. So this whole marketplace is player created content. You can shop for it. And um, there's even a little place where, you know, every single player can create the content and then submit it and if it gets approved then it ends up on the marketplace and you know it's sold to berries so i thought this was really really cool because it kind of gives it like an aspect of you know kind of roblox kind of fortnite creative map kind of thing where it allows um the user to come in and, and take a part in the whole uh creating the game kind of thing so i don't know what you guys think let me know what you think about that but we'll go back to bunnies really quick um I'll see what I have to harvest there and I'll walk you guys through real quick. How does that work? And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, so here I planted water mint and it is ready to shear. So I'm just going to boom, pull the shears out, go ahead and start chopping some up. I'm going to 
top maybe 24. Just enough to make a wine bottle. But as you see, every time I chop, I'm losing energy, right? So every single thing you do that could be a potential gain of resources, you're gonna lose some energy. So I'm just gonna say what's up to the guys. I just love that in this game you can interact. People are super friendly. I've honestly never came into a game where I've had so many people try to help me. But yeah, so we have 24. So I'm just going to go for another 24 really quick. That way I can show you guys how to make uh, water mint whiskey. And there goes the guys responding. And man, everybody's super cool. You guys don't even know, but these guys are a part of this land. This is part of the, the family. Bunny pretty much has created a, a little family here in 920. But yeah, you always catch people around while you're doing, you know, your daily routines. So it just makes it a whole lot different, right? In Thane Arena, I wasn't really able to connect with you guys at all. So I'm excited for little things and little giveaways and just little games we'll be able to play this game. From what I hear, the updates that are coming up are going to be a bunch of really, really fun mini games. So um, if it's a way for, you know, the community to have fun and, and join each other, then cool. But he's over here. I'm telling him that I'm making this video for you guys. And he's saying that he's also making a video. So that was sweet. All right. So now that I cut the water mint whiskey, um, by the way, every seed takes a different amount of time to grow. And... This one had already gone through its four-hour process after I watered it. All right, so let's go take a stroll th through Terra Villa real quick. We will go to the winemaking section to Winona. If you see that little trail behind me, it's because I'm walking faster because I got these uh, other shoes on. And this was part of a whole other event. But um when you first start playing the game you guys are gonna have a bunch of quests to accomplish it's pretty much all surrounding the outer border of the game so you'll see winona with the wine making jack and jill with the trees the drill the chicken coop and then stand with the woodworking old man gurney so everything's literally right within that same little block and that was all part of a new update of recently so super excited about that but here, those are all the recipes that I have available. I chose, obviously, the water mint whiskey because that's what I have. And then once it, those four minutes pass by, um, you can have the bottle in your inventory. And then for this one specifically, you just walk across the street because Goose is uh, pretty much the bar. So you sell it to him. That, that butter brew is worth 1,400 berries. And then you get your 1,400 berries and, you know, that's when the whole in-game strategy and how what industry you want to do what um seeds you want to grow what are you going to process that's when it all comes into play and you know ultimately you decide how it is that you're gonna take upon this game we are so early to this game guys it's, it's pretty ridiculous i'm honestly super excited because if you look back six months ago seven months ago to what this game looked like it has done an amazing job of just updating it increasing it and getting better and uh luke the founder has promised and really over delivered so um once you are out of energy though then all you have to do is walk on up and you go to the sauna where you recover your energy and that's it right then the next day you got to have a plan in place to keep calm you know get very very rich so right here i'm just showing you guys i have the number one spec in all of pixels right now that is my plot go follow it go grow a little bit in it it only has two soils but hey don't judge me but anyways guys that is it for the rest of the video thank you guys so much for watching let me know in the comments if you are going to be playing this game um I got a, I got a funny, funny feeling that we're going to be able to do some fun things as a community here. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. I love you guys. See you on the next one. Peace.